thinking, but maybe it's just the wind. Where I think the mythology of the show really took off was when we introduced angels. It took until season four, but when angels finally showed up, it was epic. If I do say so my damn self, like that is how you introduce a character. It was quite an introduction to a show. Who are you? I'm the one who gripped you tight and raised you from perdition. That is just some badass, badassery right there. Castiel was an instant hit. Still trying to figure out who that is yeah, who's the... and why he's even relevant. What do you mean? Misha, yeah, yeah. lovely. But Castiel never got it. I never understood it. Well, he's a hit with fans, anyway. I think it's because it's the cheapest costume you can put together if you're a fan. In all seriousness, Misha has brought Supernatural to a whole nother level, as we say in Texas. The order comes from high up on the celestial chain of command. How high? Very. There's a naivete and an innocence to Cass. The pizza man truly loves this babysitter. Why does he keep slapping her rear? Watching porn? There's always a new incarnation of my character. Castiel has been crazy. Castiel has been God. He who lies in my name shall choke on his own false tongue. Castiel has been a quasi-cult-leading, drug-induced yoga instructor. Why not go get washed up for the orgy? They're all so beautiful. It's one of the things that has made me enjoy working on this show so much. It's honey. I collected it myself. And then, you're off your rocker. There's Crowley. <laughs>